Well, I chose this field of practice because when I was two years old, my mother said I drew a perfect Popeye. <laughs> From there on, uh, she recognized my artistic ability and she felt that with a long line of doctors in the family, I was, uh, plastic surgery was an obvious choice. So uh, flash forward 20 years and uh, my, uh, my mother was right. You know, we, uh, I basically went to medical school. I had gotten a degree in architecture and, was, and plastic surgery was the perfect choice. With my gift of spe spatial relations, uh, it was really easy to get to the next level and uh, choose a field that I've become incredibly passionate about. You know, it's, it's been a perfect fit in every way. I'm a board certified plastic surgeon in northern New Jersey, practicing for 26 years. I have a very prolific practice that fortunately affords me the opportunity to do about 120 facelifts a year as well as twice as many eyelid surgeries. Uh, this also includes all the other range, full range of surgeries, including rhinoplasty, uh, breast lifts, reductions, t uh, as well as augmentation and reconstruction. Reconstruction also extends into microsurgery, which is good for limb salvage for both orthopedic trauma as well as orthopedic oncology. Uh, I've been very fortunate to take care of these patients through the years, whether or not through their body or their face. You're, you're, you're extending that into how their emotion, emotional recovery is and, and how they see themselves in the future. I'm very blessed to have that opportunity. I'm very fortunate to be able to take care of people on every level. This really, once you see what you've done for them, whether it's their face or their body, you've, you've given a chance to not just change their physical appearance, but their emotional and uh, confidence that goes through them every day. It's such a gift to be able to do that. I think the greatest challenge in this field is the ability to understand the balance between beauty and blood supply. We are often faced with a, a, a procedure where we want to achieve a certain ideal and oftentimes we're limited by what the body will allow us to do. It's so important to fall back on your experience and then also be able to restrain yourself from going to that next level which is only going to fall off a cliff and leave you with something you're not going to like. So ideally, if you understand those limitations, you're going to give yourself or your patient the chance to have an optimal result. So of course, we stay on top of all the newest technology. We buy the latest and greatest new materials and newest, new machines and lasers and, and sutures, but nothing, nothing can replace experience, knowledge of anatomy, and a unique artistic eye. At Burlet Plastic Surgery, we want every patient to feel like family. We do an honest assessment of what can be possibly done and what can't be done, you know, to manage expectations and to deliver ultimately a superior result. I have many patients I have to say no to who want too much filler put in their lips or a procedure that's going to be a disservice to them. It's always my goal to give them a natural appearance that's going to not affect their underlying look. It's my patients rely on me to give them their best self. And it's an honor to have their trust and to give them just that. Mm -hmm.